All right then, gang, so now let's look at two more types, arrays and objects. So first of all, let's create a new array and we'll call this names and set it equal to an array, just like we would in JavaScript. And I'll store some different strings inside this array. So Luigi and we'll do Mario and then Yoshi. All right, so we now have an array of strings, which are names, right? Now, if I wanted to, for example, push a new item onto this array, which is a string, that's absolutely fine to do. I could say names.push and then push on a new name, for example, toad. And that's absolutely fine, it works. But if I try to push onto the array a value which is a different type, like a number or a Boolean, it's not gonna let me do this. So for example, names.push and then add on a number, then I'm gonna get a little error right here. And if I hover over that, it says argument of type three is not assignable to parameter of type string. So it's only letting me put in strings because that's what we initially defined in this array. So we can't do this thing right here. We can only add on strings. And likewise, if I try to override one of these with a different type, for example, names, and then say position zero, and try to set that equal to a Boolean or a number again, then it's also going to error and it won't let me do this. And whenever we get one of these errors, it's not gonna compile the TypeScript into JavaScript. So we can't do this stuff right here. When we declare a new array, the types that we assign into that array cannot then be changed later on. Let's do another example. I'm gonna say let numbers equal to an array of numbers. And in here, I'll just do 10, 20, 30, and 40. And then underneath, I'm gonna say numbers dot push and add on 25. That's absolutely fine. But if I try to say numbers dot push and then add on a string, for example, Sean, that doesn't work. Likewise, if I say numbers and then position one or whatever and set that equal, to a string like Sean, this is not gonna work, okay? So that's arrays. Now, if we wanted to have a mixed array with different types in it, we can do. We just have to declare that when we first initialize our array. So I could say, for example, let mixed equal to an array. And then inside here, we could have Ken, and we'll also have a number four, and we'll have another string, Chunli, and then maybe another two numbers, eight and nine. So now this is an array which has two different types in, and it could have a third type in if you want, it could have a Boolean in. As long as we're declaring this at the start when we first make the array, that's absolutely fine. TypeScript will look at this and say, okay, well this is an array now which can contain strings or numbers, right? And if I now try to say mixed.push and then add on a string, so I could say Ryu right here. It's gonna let me do that, it doesn't error, but I could also say mixed.push and then add on a number as well. That's absolutely fine. And also I could change any position inside the array to a number or a string. It doesn't matter if it was a string before and I wanna change it to a number, I can do that. So I could say mixed zero, which is currently a string, is now equal to a number, and I could say that is three, and this is absolutely fine to do. So that's how we have mixed arrays. But if we declare our array at the start to just contain one type, it can only then have that one type in it. All right, so that's arrays in a nutshell. Now let's move on to objects. So likewise with objects, they're exactly the same as in JavaScript. If I wanna create one, I can say let, and we'll call this ninja, and set it equal to an object. And inside this object, we can declare different properties. So I could say that the name is gonna be Mario, and under that I could say we have a belt, which is gonna be a string and that is black. And then also I could say age is 30. Now I'm creating an object right here with these three different properties. Now these three properties work the same way as variables. If I declare a variable as a specific type, I then can't change that type. Oh, and by the way, just quickly, if I create an array, I then can't say down here, names is then equal to something else like a string. You know, I can't change the type of the array itself. So not only are we fixed typing the values inside the array, but also the type of the variable as well. Forgot to mention that. But that brings me on to this down here. These things right here behave the same way as variables. If we declare a variable to be a specific type, we then can't change that type. If we declare a property to be a specific type, then we can't change that type. These will always have to be strings. And likewise, this always has to be an object, right? So let me come down here and I'm gonna say that ninja 
dot age is now equal to 40. Well, that's absolutely fine because age is currently a number and we're just updating the number. If I say that the ninja dot name is equal to something like Ryu, then again, that's absolutely fine because we're just updating the string. But if I say now that the ninja age is equal to a string 30, then we get an error because age has to be a number, not a string. And it can't change once we've defined this as a certain type. So we can't do this right here. Likewise, we can't then just add on extra properties once we've defined the variable or the object to begin with. So I can't say ninja and then make up a new property called skills and set that equal to an array of some kind of skills like fighting or maybe sneaking. I can't do this because this property skills did not exist on the ninja object to begin with. And once we've defined the object, we then can't add additional properties to it. Okay. So what if I want to override the whole thing, the whole object? Well, I can do that. I can't override it with a different type. I can't set it to equal an array or a string. It doesn't work like that. We can't change the type of this. It has to be an object, but I could update it to be a new object. And I could say, well, okay, the name this time is going to be Yoshi. And then the belt is going to be orange. And then the age is going to be 40. It allows me to do that. But notice this, if I take off one of the properties, I get an error because it doesn't match the initial structure of this object that we initially declared. Once we initially declare something like this, it has to have the same structure, the exact same type of object with the same properties. The values can be different of these properties, uh, but they still have to be the same type. I couldn't say name is now you know, a number. That doesn't work, but they can be different values and they have to have exactly the same names. So age has to be there like that. Now, likewise, I couldn't then add on another property either. I couldn't say, okay, well, I want skills to be added on to this ninja object as well, because again, it doesn't then match the structure of the initial object that we created. So TypeScript is quite strict with these different types, but it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing because it leads to less errors down the line and it gives you cleaner, more predictable code.